What if I told you the biggest lie that you've ever heard is that you need a certain number of watch hours and subscribers to make money on YouTube? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you eight different ways where you can make money on YouTube without having the minimum subscriber and watch hour threshold. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pocket. And if you want to be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province, or country and I'll get you pinned. Now, oftentimes when I talk about creating content on YouTube, people will push back and say, you're gonna put in a lot of time, energy, and effort for no result. They say that you need to have thousands of followers in order to make money online. You need to have 4,000 watch hours in order to make any money and get accepted by the YouTube Partner Program. Now, the great news is you don't need the YouTube Partner Program to make money. The way that I look at the YouTube Partner Program is icing on the cake. There are a number of ways which we're gonna reveal in this, in this video on how you can make money starting today or this weekend and you don't have to worry about the YouTube Partner Program at all. In fact, you don't need any subscribers at all to start doing this, and we're going to talk about some of those ways. The first one on my list is actually how I got started making money online, and it's with affiliate marketing. Now, with affiliate marketing, you are simply going to recommend other people's products and services. And the way that it works is you are going to partner with a company, various sizes. There are over 5,000 affiliate programs that are out there. You're going to partner with those companies. They're going to give you an affiliate link, which is unique to you. If people click on those links and buy, you earn a commission. Now, you can get started with absolutely no followers at all. What I recommend that you do is you start at what's called the bottom of the funnel. Focus on individual products. People often make the mistake of trying to focus on larger topics that are too competitive and won't get you any views. What I recommend that you do instead is focus on maybe this microphone instead of trying to create content about how to start a podcast. People that are ready to buy a product will focus on the product. Now you can do this with milk frothers, TVs, you can do this with online courses. This literally works for anything. In fact, if you look at some of my older videos on this channel, where I'm talking about a program, a, a course called Project 24, I actually earned a number of affiliate commissions before I was ever monetized with YouTube. In fact, I had probably around 200, 300 subscribers when I was earning commissions with those videos. So you don't need any subscribers whatsoever in order to start building commissions. You just have to identify what your target audience wants, create helpful content to help solve that problem, and then they'll click on your affiliate link. The second way that you could make money on YouTube without having a following at all is simply with memberships. Now with memberships, you are going to connect with your target audience. Let's say you are in the woodworking niche and you are going to offer them additional courses and training and maybe even live Q and A every single month. The cool thing with a membership is that it's reoccurring. So basically, People will pay you every single month as long as they find value out of what you're teaching them. So you're going to continuously help them solve a problem and you can actually do this with any niche. For example, my friend Josh is in the tennis niche and if we wanted to, he could create a monthly reoccurring membership where he's teaching different parts of tennis. Maybe he's teaching people how to improve their forehand or backhand. Another way that he could add additional value in the membership is have people record themselves playing tennis or working on a forehand, backhand, whatever it might be and send it to him and then he can actually do reviews and help them improve their game even though he is nowhere around so memberships are a great way to make money again one of the biggest benefits is that you make money every single month uh, people will continue to pay you as long as you continue to add value so consider a membership it works for just about any niche number three are online courses now online courses are slightly different than memberships basically with an online course you are going to help someone get from point a to point b for example let's say someone wants to learn excel you are going to teach them how to do different things like macros and graphs within Excel. The main difference between a membership and a course is the, the person that buys the course is just going to pay one time. The cool thing with a course is that you can charge anywhere between $49 and $9.99 depending on how much value you bring, how much large the problem is. One of the benefits of a course is you get people in, you can build a community, and then potentially sell them more things. But you can create a course on literally anything. If you are struggling to find ideas for course creation, check out a website like Udemy or Udemy and they'll actually have a few ideas for for you but creating an online course is a great way now what you could do is you could create a low ticket course maybe seven or seventeen dollars that solves a specific problem once that specific problem is solved your customers are going to come back to you and say i have bigger problems and then that's when you can create a membership or a course or even do affiliate marketing and you could really start stacking the commissions but i like online courses because you're going to help someone solve a specific problem you're going to help them get from point a to point b in a very structured linear way now you might be asking yourself Yourself, or you might be saying to yourself, Alston, there's so much free content on the internet. Why would someone buy a course? One, if they built a connection with you on YouTube, they know, like, and trust you. 
Number two, courses are structured, they're formatted, and they go in a linear progression. One of the drawbacks of trying to find content on YouTube is that it can be scattered. Also, sometimes when people have a YouTube course, it's like six hours long, and people usually don't wanna sit through six hours worth of course. They'll stop, they'll get busy, and then they'll forget where they're at. With an online course that you've got structured and it's dedicated, they're micro, smaller videos that help them solve a specific problem. So don't be afraid to create a course and sell it just in case you think there's too many people already doing it, people will like you because they understand and they feel comfortable with you. After online courses, we have email marketing. Now with email marketing, you are simply going to collect the names and emails of your audience, and then you're going to send them emails, helping them solve their problem. For example, let's say you are in the Excel niche. You create content to help people learn Excel. You simply would create a lead magnet. That's something that you give away for free to your target audience. Maybe it's 20 hotkeys for Excel or 20 quick tips or 20 ways to create macros or something like that in Excel. You give that away to them for free in exchange for their name and their email. Once you have their name and their email, you can send them emails daily to reminding people when you upload new content. You can send them emails when you create a course. You can send them emails when you start a membership or even affiliate marketing. One of the benefits with email marketing is simply that you will have access to that person's name and email forever as long as they don't unsubscribe. So you can continuously send emails offering value and support and those people will eventually become buyers. For example, I was meeting with a one-on-one -on -one student and he asked me, does email marketing still work? And I said, go back and look when I first sent you an email. And he looked through all the emails because he kept them. He said, I got an email from you for about two years ago. So I've been sending him daily emails or almost daily emails for about two years and he actually eventually decided to buy. So email marketing is incredibly powerful if you do it correctly. Again, you wanna start off with a lead magnet, give something away for free in exchange for their name and their email. And then you can just simply send them emails doing those five things, sending them to your content, affiliate marketing, digital products, which we'll cover in just a moment, or memberships or online courses. Speaking of digital products, a digital products is an all-encompassing thing that we should talk about, and it's a really good idea to make money. Depending on your niche, there are so many opportunities out there for digital products. For example, let's say you are in the Excel niche, you could sell budget trackers or budget templates to help people solve their problem. There's a digital product opportunity for everyone. Uh, digital products include eBooks, planners, templates, checklists. It could include photos, it can include wall art, it can include uh, podcasts or songs. Digital products are anything that are delivered online and that you create once. And the cool thing about digital products is, as I mentioned, you create them once and they can scale almost infinitely. Now, the reason why I say almost infinitely is because there's about 8 billion people in the world. And so that's really your limitation. But what you can do is you can identify problems that your target audience has based on the questions that they're asking in the comment section, based on the types of videos that you create. You could create a digital product, maybe an ebook, a planner, or maybe presets, and then you could simply sell it to them. It's a really great way to add additional revenue to your YouTube channel without meeting the YouTube Partner Program requirement. After digital products, we have physical products. Now, physical products are anything that is physically delivered to the customer. For example, let's say you are in the woodworking niche. You could create a table or something like that and send that to your target audience. It might be a little expensive, but the main difference between a physical product is you are going to have to create that product again and again and again. You're going to have to consider things like customer service, shipping costs, and, and all of that stuff. Let's say you have a fan base in crocheting or knitting, and they really like the blankets that you make. You could simply make custom blankets for your target audience and mail that out to them. After physical products, we have services. So yes, let's say you're a chiropractor or maybe you create five-page WordPress websites. You could actually use YouTube to bring in your customers. And the way that you do that is you simply create content talking about building out WordPress websites, some challenges that people might have. You show them how to build out WordPress websites. A portion of that audience will see that and not want to build it. And so they'll actually reach out to you and say, can you do this for us? And how much will it cost? Now you'd be surprised how much you can charge when people are coming to you instead of you going to them. So services are a really great way to make money with YouTube without having thousands of subscribers. And again, you're simply just going to identify the questions your target audience is asking. You're going to create content and then just let them know that if they need additional help, here's how you can get additional help from us. But if you have a service, 
service, maybe, like I mentioned, web hosting, chiropractor, doctor, dentist, you have some of those services, don't hesitate to create a YouTube channel simply answering people's common questions. And the next way that you can make money without the YouTube Partner Program is selling your own merch. Yes, you could actually partner with websites like Teespring to create your own merch, whether it's a sweatshirt, it's an iPhone case, you could essentially create just about anything and sell it to your target audience. Now, if you have a smaller audience, you're probably gonna wanna make sure that the design is really good. As your audience grows, you probably can just base, create a designs off of whatever logos you have. But in the very beginning, if you are maybe a graphic designer, you could actually create merch and partner with different merch stores. The benefit of using a website like Teespring or Spring is that you just come up with the design idea and the merch store will be responsible for printing, collecting payments, shipping, and customer service. So you just come up with the idea, partner with a merch company like Spring or Teespring, and they kind of do the heavy lifting. Now, you can actually put a link directly to your products and services right in the description of your content. That's how you can get around not having the subscribers required to have that merch shelf that you see a lot of larger content creators have. As you can see, there are a bunch of different ways to make money on YouTube without having the YouTube partner program requirements. One of my favorite ways to make money online is simply creating and selling digital products. There are a few more things that you need to know when it comes to creating and selling digital products. So watch this video next if you wanna learn how to create and sell your first digital product.